Welcome back. This episode's a bit different. Instead of being mobility accessible, it's all about dog accessibility. If you're new around here, my name's Run Around Sue and I film my travels with restricted mobility in the UK and abroad. From the 1st of May to the 30th of September each year, some of the beaches in Pembrokeshire have dog restrictions, so I thought I'd share Hunt from Bell's favourites. These are beaches that are not restricted at all, and they're in South Pembrokeshire and over the border in Carmarthenshire. So which of these beaches are going to be your favourite beaches? Hunt from Bell's favourite is definitely Freshwater East. Beach 1. Freshwater West. Eight and a half miles from Pembroke, Freshwater West Beach is about a mile long and it's been used as a location shoot for notable films such as Ridley Scott's Robin Hood and most famously Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Freshwater West is one of the best surfing beaches in Wales. But do beware, there are dangerous riptides. Lifeguards do patrol this beach in the summer months. And a word of warning, be very careful when driving in the very narrow lanes. Beach 2. Freshwater East. Freshwater East Bay is about four miles east of Pembroke. It's a very small village where you will find the Freshwater Bay Holiday Park and the Freshwater East Caravan and Motorhome site. There are two dog friendly pubs. There's the Long House, which is close to the beach, and up on the hill there is the Freshwater East Inn. I do believe the Freshwater East Inn may only be open in the summer months though. Care should be taken in the sand dunes and the same with Freshwater West as these are the natural habitat for adders. Beach 3, Pendine Sands. Pendine Sands can be found 20 miles away from Pembroke, just over the border from Pembrokeshire in Carmarthenshire. Malcolm Campbell set the world land speed record here on Pendine Beach between 1924 and 1927. BBC's popular Top Gear programme have test driven on the beach three times. As you can see, we didn't check the tide timetables today before coming down, so we're unable to take the car onto the beach, which had been our main plan. But as you can see, Hunter and Belle had great fun playing in the pools at the end of the slipway where the cars go onto the beach. The Pendine Sands Caravan Park is also situated right on the beach, and there is also a motor museum, which wasn't open on the day of our visit. Other popular activities on the beach include kite landboarding, land sailing and kite buggying. Pendine is seven miles long. Number four, Barrafundal. Barrafundal is about five miles from Pembroke. It can be found near the village of Stackpole.
This National Trust beach is often quoted as being one of the best beaches in the world and it's only accessible by foot on a path over the cliff tops. This walk is totally worth it because when you arrive you see the blue ocean and the deep soft sand. It's almost magical. The Stackpole Estate is run by the National Trust and if you use the car park and you're not a member, you can also use your ticket to any other National Trust car park the same day. For example, you can do Barrafundal and you can do Broadhaven South on the same day. It's the best sand in the world and that's my humble opinion. The only downside to Barrafundal is that the beach is not accessible to people with mobility issues like myself. Number five, Broadhaven South. Seven miles from Pembroke, just past the small village of Boscheston, this beach can be accessed two ways, either from the Clifftop car park or via the Boscheston lily ponds. It's quite difficult to access this beach if you have got mobility problems due to the steep steps that go down onto very soft sand. It is a little easier if you go via the lily ponds but it is quite a long walk that way. From this beach you get a fabulous view of Church Rock. This beach is also part of the National Trust Stackpole Estate. Number 6. West Angle Bay Eight miles from Pembroke and about as far west as you can go before hitting the Irish Sea, you find the village of Angle. It has a lovely bay with views over Thorn Island. A family friendly beach lots of rock pools for the little ones to adventure in. There's a cafe on the beach and in the village you will also find a local pub called the Hibernia and soon to open the local pub that's called the Point House. Camping facilities are available in the village at Castle Farm. There's easy access to the Pembrokeshire coast path from Angle Bay and in one direction you can walk around the coast to Freshwater West and in the other direction you can walk around the headland to the RNLI lifeboat station and the Point House pub. Number seven, Manabir. Six miles from Pembroke is the lovely beach of Manabir. What's special about Manabir Beach is that it's overlooked by a beautiful castle in which they filmed the BBC series, The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe. Manabir is a popular surfing beach and also you have easy access onto the coast path again where you can walk around to Swan Lake. The castle was built in the 12th century by the Debarry family.
Number 8. Wiseman's Bridge. Wiseman's Bridge is situated about 11 miles from Pembroke and it's by the pretty harbour town of Saundersfoot. Wiseman's Bridge is a pebbly beach that has a lovely pub called the Wiseman's Bridge Inn situated at the end of it. There are lots of walks that start from here. There's a lovely walk from here that will take you into Saundersfoot via Coppet Hall. And there's another walk that will take you to the Step Aside Heritage Centre. Number 9. Penali. Penali Beach, with its wonderful views of Coldy Island, is a stretch of beach that runs from the west side of the South Beach in Tembe all the way through to Penali, alongside the award winning Tembe Golf Course. Also along this stretch of beach, you will find the Kiln Park Holiday Park and the Penali Court Holiday Park. So the stretch of beach goes all the way from Salty's Beach Bar up towards Penali Station Car Park. So you can access this beach from either end. Number 10, Sprinkle Bay. 10 miles from Pembroke, on the outskirts of Manabir, this is a stunning hidden gem. The bay is surrounded by high cliffs and is accessed by a metal stairway. This may be difficult for some dogs and some humans as well. At the bottom you will see the stunning church doors, which is a hole through the cliff with fantastic views. So which is your favourite dog friendly beach in Pembrokeshire? Comment below. Between the 1st of May and the 30th of September, there are restrictions on Lidster, Saundersfoot, Tenby Castle, South Beach and Amroth and there is a total dog ban on Tenby North Beach. On their website, Pembrokeshire County Council say the aim of this is ensuring the safety and pleasure of the majority who wish to use the beaches for sunbathing and swimming or similar seaside leisure activities. I hope you enjoyed coming to the beautiful South Pembrokeshire beaches with Hunter, Belle and Runaround Sue. Bye for now.